Hello, Barbara here from the Fowler Library with your third day of Christmas stocking stuffer number three. We're all spending so much time sitting and staring at screens these days. It's so important to remember to look away, focus in the distance, lift our hearts, roll our shoulders back, give our eyes and our bodies that break. We all know this, but it's not always easy to remember. So let's just take a little break right now, just a few minutes to sit on the front of the chair, ground the feet into the floor, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, a little, little smile across your lips. Relaxing between the brow, taking some deep breaths. Really straightening through the spine, pressing down through the feet. Makes us a little bit longer, a little bit taller. Breathing deeply, slowly, and deeply. Lovely, let's lift our arms, breathing in. Let's exhale them down. Let's free them up again. Exhale, place, place the left hand on the right knee, letting the other arm drop to the back of your chair into a twist. Breathing back up to center. Exhale to the other side, placing your right hand on your left knee, the other hand dropping behind on the back of your chair, and breathing back to center. Hands down, let's cross the left leg over the right. We'll do the same thing, we'll breathe our hands up. We'll this time turn towards the bent knee, place the right hand on that bent knee, take the arm behind, Couple of breaths here. Breathing back to center. Let's lower our chest and our forehead down towards that front foot. Just dropping down. Lowering the head. Breathing back up. Now the knee that's crossed over, let's just place that foot gently on the other knee. Rolling our shoulders back to get straight again. We can add a little bit of resistance by pulling this knee towards us, straightening the spine, lifting the heart. If we want a little more, try lifting the heel on the foot that's on the floor. It increases the hip stretch, the opening in the hip, the hip flexor. If we want to add even a little bit more, we can invite our chest to come towards that front foot. Lovely stretch the hips, keeping the back straight. <sighs> Breathing. Let's release that, uncross the legs, cross the other leg over. Placing the opposite hand on that bent knee, whichever side you're working on. The other hand comes behind, onto the back of the chair, back into your twist. Breathing with hearts lifted. Now we'll release that, invite the chest, and the forehead to come down towards that front foot. Lowering the head down. When we lower the head below the heart, it's considered a recovery position. It's very, very good for the nervous system. Very calming, very soothing. Let's breathe that back up. Bending that top knee, placing the foot on the top of the knee of the foot that's on the floor. Straightening our spines. No options here again. We can add a bit of resistance by just some weight on that above, above the knee, we can lift the heel of the foot that's on the floor, deepening that opening, making it sweeter. If you want more, invite your chest towards that front knee. Very small adaptations, but it just makes it a little bit deeper. Breathing here, smiling, releasing the muscles of your face. They can get pretty tense without us even knowing it. Releasing back, dropping the foot to the floor. Let's just move our knees back and forth. Windshield wipers. <sighs> Taking one more minute to roll back our shoulders on the inhale. Drop them behind us. Lift our hearts. One more rolling and down. And there we are, your stocking stuffer number three. Have a great day. And remember to keep moving. Take your eyes off the screen. All the best. God bless.